kind of funny how we spent so much time trying to do all this stuff inside the boat and as the boat the engine actually fell it, that we actually took it out and how we're actually doing it all outdoors how it's so much easier so if anyone's thinking of doing anything to your engine in a boat take it out if you can and we would have done it if we knew this from the beginning we are Ben and MP and this is Sailing Yaba where we get to share a dream boat being revealed. Thanks to simple tools, ancient knowledge and an amazing team of carpenters our once wrecked schooner is being brought back to life. So this is the injector pump all made and new of course is some of the old pieces which are the electrics which haven't been washed. The next steps are well a few things had to be removed this still has to be removed, but of course it's been fused shut over the years and it's gonna need a good wash. So we're gonna block off everything, hose it down, open it all up, clean the inside, and then we can hopefully start rebuilding it. Cause the works in the boat have paused a bit because they're leaving it a bit open so we can have the engine put in because it is quite a big piece. And then we can kind of close the bolt completely. This still has to be removed, but of course it's been fused shut over the years. That's my point. Been on it for ages. It's going to take a lot of weight. Ah, in. So this is what took a long time, and finally with a bit of weight and this extension pole, I think it's budged a bit. So the engine is now as clean as it can get without it being sandblasted or any other extra products being put on. I hope you enjoyed how it got put in this garage. I think it's an amazing system. I just wheel it all the way, or hoist it all the way here. Now I think the next goal is, after taking those tough bits off, to see how much we can take apart to have sandblasted and all that type of stuff, which would be the next phase of cleaning. So those parts coming off is going to be literally everything that's hanging onto it still, including this, which I think can, holds the flywheel, which is attached to the gearbox. We'll probably take the bottom part off as well, so you break up the engine into two of the heads, the engine heads. We're going to change the gaskets, so that's the next steps.
So now this the casing is off. But Elio is funny because he's just telling me, I always ask him, where does it go? He's like, just throw it in here. And then he says, afterwards I'll ask you what goes where when we have to put the engine back together again. Uh, that's what it looks like. Full of screws of different sizes. And I think we both know, oh, there's some more. I think we both know how that's gonna go. the oil out and firstly of course because it's me I dropped the screw from the oil reservoir into the gallon let's see if oil does come out I don't think so no so exactly so we always thought there was diesel leaking or whatever was leaking into the hull of a fresh clean boat but we didn't know what it was and I knew it might be oil but I didn't think it would just leak out of there and it turns out we don't have any oil in this engine anymore so it must have just leaked all onto our keel which is what made it so black but there we go we've got an oil hydrated fed keel and lower hull Turns out we do have some oil, but not as much as we should have. I think we should have had 18, 18 liters of oil in this engine. And I think looking at it, we might have half. So we don't know where the other 17 and a half liters went. So like every story in the history of mankind, there's always one screw where the head breaks off and that cannot be removed. So this whole oil, what's it, cut, carter, is now hanging loose, except for this one screw, which won't give. Easy peasy. The screw is still in there, but that can be removed. Shouldn't be a problem. We hope not. Probably will be. Carter is off, the oil reservoir is off, and the oil is everywhere, of course, because you've had to shake it. time I've opened up a cylinder, a piston, let alone had a look inside one. So this for me is like super cool right now.
assada. Uhum. So we've just taken out the the covers. Forgive me if they're not the correct names of the piston or the drive shaft, prop shaft, drive shaft. The thing that makes the pistons go up and down and punch into the cylinders. And we're just checking out the quality of them. I don't know if you can see well. Some of them are slightly worn. Oh, there go some screws. Some of them look better, so they're actually the ones covering these. Now, they are okay still, but we can't, some of them are a little bit worn, like I said. So when you're, we are going to replace them now because there is never gonna be a time in the near future, or future at all, where we're gonna have the engine this much open. So just like with other parts of the boat, we're changing it as it's a small part inside a big uh, engine removal and so on. So we're gonna change them now so we don't have to think about them in the future. Not prop shaft, not drive shaft, not camshaft, it's crankshaft. So we're looking at the quality of the crankshaft and the bearings of the crankshaft. So it's crazy how everything lying around here, on the floor, on the table, on the other table here, I need to keep an eye on the light coming from there. That, on that floor, on this floor, and back there, all that is one day all gonna be one engine in the boat, bringing us places. Hopefully not bringing us places because we want to sail, but being a backup to bringing us places. This is the main work of the engine done. Most big parts have been removed. There are still a few gaskets that we're gonna, uh, well, that we still need to replace. We wanna remove them all, replace them all. Uh, we're gonna clean it all down, sand the outside, maybe replace some old parts. The only thing is of this, we've seen the screw has kind of eaten away at the aluminium, but luckily we have this welder just down the road who's happy to weld this for us. This will be as good as new and reliable. So we're gonna replace those little uh, bearings that, ha that um, the crankshaft bearings, each one of them as it's open and exposed now, uh, easily to get parts, those parts over here as well for this precise engine. When that's done, we can start putting that back together. We're gonna send this, like I said, maybe I didn't say I didn't use that part and I didn't edit it in, but we're going to send it a few parts for sandblasting and then when that's all back here we can start putting it back together giving it a nice primer layer and painting it and i think that's about it to an engine of course the gaskets and it can start heading back to the boat to allow us to build the boat again because that's on pause right now a little section of it so we can get the engine in but i'm chuffed this is all apart and i'm chuffed the cylinders are all okay by the way uh, the pistons are all okay just a little maintenance which is replacing those bearings what is about to happen right now we're gonna work on the bearings of the engine i'm very not sure about what i'm doing 